Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Bye Bye Love as recorded by the Everly Brothers on guitar. Now this is a fun song to play. There's only two main sections, the chorus and the verse. And once you get those down, you'll be able to make your way through the tune. I'm gonna show you that. Plus at the end, I'm gonna break down note for note the intro guitar part as well. Now this song is really great for working on just your chord transitions, changing back and forth between what I call the one, four, and five. And in the key of A, which this song is in the key of A, that's gonna be the chords A, D, and E. So this is gonna help you get really good at playing those chords and putting it in context of real music. Before we jump in though, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide, and if you're new here and haven't downloaded it yet, you've gotta grab it at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must-know chords and scales for mapping out the entire fretboard. And all of the chords that we're gonna cover in today's lesson for this Everly Brothers song are on this page and I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Bye Bye Love as recorded by the Everly Brothers on guitar. Now we're going to start off with the two main sections, the chorus and the verse, and we're going to use just three chords for those sections. We're gonna start right on the chorus where the lyrics come in, bye bye love. Here's what it sounds like. I want two, three, four. So for this chorus, we're gonna start on a D chord. Now the song is in the key of A and we're gonna be using just three chords, A, D, and E. For the D chord, we're gonna play from four down like this. Open, two, three, two. For A, we're gonna play from five down like this. Open, two, 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 open. Now I recommend playing the chord the way I am here with this fingering. Second finger, index, ring. And then for E, we're gonna play all six strings. Open, two, two, one, open, open. So those are our chords. Now we're gonna start just going D, A, D, A, D, A, three times like this. One, two, three, four, switch, two, three, four. D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four. D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four. So, so far each chord is lasting one measure or one bar. Then we have a split bar. We're gonna go A for two beats, E for two beats, then back to A for a bar. Okay, so we got bye bye love two three four da 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 da. Then it goes again. Now the second time, goodbye my love, goodbye. We do that last little A to E one more time. A, E, then A, two, three, four. There goes my babe. Then we're into the verse, okay? So at the end of the chorus, A, E, A, two, three, four. We're gonna hit the A, A, and then rest. So we'll do that by just bringing our strum hand down touching the strings so they're muted off. Then I'll also mute here with my fretting hand as well. So that's our chorus section. Now let's add some strumming to that. So start by just getting the changes, you know, with these fingerings. And you can see how the reason why I choose these fingerings is look at how smooth this is. It's so smooth to go from A to D like that. If you play it like this, you gotta pick up all your fingers. Not good. This way much better. Now strumming wise, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna do a quarter note strum. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna kind of break up the strings a little bit. 
What I mean by that is I strum more the lower strings and then the higher strings. Like, just split the strings up a bit instead of just hitting them all at once. And that adds a little bit more just dynamics and just almost uh, like multiple parts. It sounds like more than one guitar. Alright, from there we kick into the verse. There goes my baby. And then from there, we're back to the chorus. So here, I played two bars of E to two bars of A. Then again, two bars of E, two bars of A. That's the first eight bars. Now, all throughout this tune, I'm keeping that same rhythm going. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four quarter notes with a little backbeat. Then we go to D for two bars, E for four bars, and then back to A for two bars. So that's gonna go. We're back to the chorus. So the whole verse played as one piece sounds like this. There goes my baby. Just repeat this little tag. Okay, so once you have those two parts together, the chorus and the verse, you're good to play the tune. But there is this little guitar part that kicks off the song. And I saved this till the end because it's actually you know, it's harder than the rest of the song, and I don't know if it's necessary to play. Um, you know, it, it you could just play the song, just come right in on the chorus, um, but if you want to play it note for note, here's what that guitar does. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And you're into the chorus there. So what I played was some higher inversions of that A chord. So we have this A here, but we can also play the A here. And this is from five down, open, seven, six, five, five. We're gonna hit that chord, then do two scratch strums. Then we'll go to a C power chord, up to a D power chord, like this. Now. I might play it like this, or sometimes I just bar it with my pinky. Either way is fine. One, two, and three, four. Then we're gonna go one and two and three and four and then one and two. Then we go up to another even higher version of the A chord. It's the next possible voicing here. Higher up the neck, 11, nine, 10, nine, on the, starting on the fourth string there. But I'll keep the A still in there, so. 
You're gonna go one and two and then again. Then one and two and three and four and. So that together goes one, two, and three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four, one and two and three. And four. Then you're into the chorus. So make sure you've got down the chorus and the verse. Those are the main sections of the song. Then you can also add that intro in as well. So just rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And remember that it takes time. If you're new to these chord shapes and just changing between them, it takes time for your hand to develop the muscle memory. So be patient and keep going. And to help you even more, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And you're going to be able to see all the chords that we talked about in today's video on this page. I'm also going to show you the scales that go with them. And it's all on one page. So you can download it and just print this out. Keep it on your music stand or on your desktop. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab it completely for free. Next, before you go, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know your number one struggle with guitar right now. Just comment it down below so I can make some future videos here on the channel helping you out. As always, thanks for the support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.